This is the Athens Metro on the Metro Line number one, and I'm heading to Monasteraki Station to go up to Monasteraki Square upstairs and have a look around and show you what the area looks like. So this is the number one line that stops here. And I'm gonna walk around first Monasteraki Square and the area immediately around it, the, the tourist shops that sell all kinds of tourist things and shirts and hats and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna walk around a bit, go back through Monasteraki Square and head down the street that has all those nice outside restaurants, the nice outside Greek restaurants and head down that street and then loop back around onto Ermu Street and check out the restaurants and bars that they have over there and get a look and see what that looks like. The trains here look like New York City trains from the 1980s with all the graffiti. I don't know if you noticed those two guys and the kid getting off the train when I got off. Um, I kind of focused on them just because it's a real sad scene that those two guys were obviously on some kind of drugs, look kind of like heroin from the way that, you know, they're real slow and kind of sleepy looking um, and the fact that they got this one kid with them I don't know which one of them is the father but either way that poor kid is you know along with these guys and they're like rolling up a blunt or something I don't know they had some kind of what looked like a rolled up joint and the kids playing with it and like as if it's common for him um, you know that's kind of sad to see that kind of situation so this is Monastiraki and it's about 10 o'clock on a weekday in August and you see it's very lively a lot of people around a lot of tourists around that restaurant, that hotel right there, A for Athens, is a hotel. And then up on top, it has a restaurant and bar. And it has a great view of the Acropolis, especially at night when it's all lit up. Same with this place, 360. There's a bar and restaurant up top. And straight up there is the Acropolis. So I'm going to take a walk around 
see what these stores are all like. A lot of tourist stuff, but also some clothes and shoes and what looks like handmade kind of sandals and stuff. Millions of cats around here. Psst, 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 psst. Also, a lot of really great restaurants obviously over here and I like that they got all this outside seating so at night when it's nice and cool you're sitting under the trees having a nice meal a drink or two whatever talking and uh, it's a really good scene out here and you can people watch so definitely come out here and have dinner out here some night because it's a really nice time from here we're going to head back into monastiraki square past the train station and head up a little bit check out uh hadrian's library from outside from the street and uh, this is an actual roman ruin that was built by the emperor hadrian in 132 a.d it's a roman library or the ruins of and then we're going to head down Adriano Street that has all the outside Greek restaurants that Monastiraki is famous for. There is the Acropolis up there. You can't see the Parthenon from here. It maybe needs to be a little higher up. <laughs> There's ruins all over Athens, so here's some of them right here. I didn't realize there's a hard rock cafe over here.
people dancing to Greek music over there. Big waffle cone with bubbles in it. <laughs> it looks like a lot of calories. But you only live once if you're on vacation. Why not, right? Check this thing out. It's like a cone surrounded by cotton candy. How do you eat that thing? I don't even know. That's crazy. Gotta say, that's very original. I've never seen anything like that with the cotton candy around a cone. I guess it's meant to look a little bit like uh, a girl in a big, wide dress, one of those puffy dresses or something. I guess that's kind of the look I guess they're going for. So many of these cool looking outside restaurants here and I don't really know how to distinguish between them because they all look good so I guess that's where something like Google or TripAdvisor or something comes in or just sit down and try the one that looks the best to you because they're probably all pretty good and here's the train tracks down here Kebab platter, eight fifty. Burger, eight bucks. Um, pasta, all kinds of stuff. Very reasonably priced, which is a little surprising because you think usually in the high tourist areas, stuff is outrageously expensive. But in this case, it's everything is very reasonable.
So yeah, so if you're in Athens, definitely come down here. Um, and this is one of those places where you're going to want to come here in the daytime to see what it looks like, maybe after you visit the Acropolis, and at night to come hang out and have a meal and people watch. And if you don't know how to get here, I guess I would say just look up Monasteraki train station or Hard Rock Cafe Athens because I, it's right up the block as you saw. That was a look at Adriano Street, and now I'm going to turn this corner here and go up Ermu Street, which is runs relatively parallel to Adriano and, and takes you to Monasteraki Square on the street. This is a street with cars. And so as you walk up the street, there's more restaurants and some bars, and a few blocks up and on the left as you walk up Ermu Street is where I did a video on Monasteraki nightlife all those little side streets over there that have a whole lot of bars and some other restaurants so that's that's where you would go if you want to see more bars this area over here I'm walking on now is kind of restaurants and if you keep walking on this street on Ermu you will head to after you pass Monastadaki, you'll head to the famous shopping area of Ermu, and that's what Ermu is named after. It's named after the Greek god Hermes, which is the god of commerce. So let's take a look at this street. 
This is one of the streets around Monastiraki. And surprisingly, there's a Indian restaurant here. Which to me is strange because not that they don't have Indians here or whatever, but what I noticed in Athens is it's very hard to find a, a restaurant that's not Greek. So in the U.S., every town has a Chinese restaurant, an Italian restaurant, maybe maybe an Indian restaurant even, um, Thai, all kinds of Asian stuff. In Greece, you really don't see that. So to find a Chinese restaurant in Greece, to me, I, I haven't seen one yet. I'm sure maybe there are, but they are not common like they are in other places so even to see an Indian restaurant is a little surprising I, I would think I would see a Chinese one before or an Italian one at least because Greek and Italy are pretty similar um, so I would think that there's some Italian places but uh, you do see Italian food on the menu in Greek restaurants so maybe that they try to cover everything. This place is interesting. It's pretty nice. And in most Greek restaurants, the ones that are in the tourist locations, they do have pasta, Italian style pasta, and of course pizza. So that kind of covers that. Wow, second Indian place in just two blocks. <laughs> when I said I never see any, so I guess I'm proven wrong. Some cool looking bars here. Third Indian restaurant, wow. That's crazy, three Indian restaurants in like two blocks, and I've never seen one before tonight in Athens.
Okay, I guess there's a Chinese restaurant, walk and walk. Asian street food. I guess Athens is changing. So now we're back at the plaza at Monasteraki. There's the hotel, A for Athens. Yes. Cops there with machine guns, just in case. that rolled ice cream thing here which never tried so there's another look at the area of Monasteraki at night <laughs> 